Hi everyone, I'm Julie. Welcome to Big Sky Beauty. Uh, I've got my Saturday smileys for you today, and I've got quite a few things, so let's get started, okay? First of all, let me discuss a non-makeup item. Um, I am a prolific gardener. I love to garden. It's my... It's my relaxation, and in the winter time, I am lost without being able to garden. Now, I've always gone to um, specialty stores to get my seeds. Uh, many times, I will order them offline from like Roberta's Garden or something, you know, off QVC. Um, I don't recall ever getting the American Seed brand, and that mainly because I put so much time into my gardening that I don't want to waste a couple days germinating something that ends up being a waste of my time and you know seeds that are 20 cents a package compared to uh, you know let's say burpees which are $1.34 a package you think oh it's just crap you know and they've got the, the uh, American seeds down at the dollar store right now at our Dollar Tree for six for a dollar and they're 20 cents a piece so they're normally five for a dollar well I was down there the other day when I was picking up some of the other things that I'm going to show you and I grabbed a couple of these because I am, I love morning glories and I have them growing all over my house and property in the summertime and so I picked up a couple of these to, just to see, you know, see how well it works. I brought them home, germinated them, every single one of them sprouted, every single one of them. I, I'm just in shock and I'm ashamed that I have been snobbish about not picking up this brand of seeds all these years because our Dollar Tree carries all of them. So I went down and I picked up like three dollars worth of packages, which of course is 30 of them. And I have germinated all but these here, and they have all sprouted. Every single one of them. No duds in any of the packets at all. I, I'm just in shock. So if you guys are gardeners and you see all the seeds down at the dollar store, don't think, oh, they're trash seeds or they're old or they're, you know, for whatever reason the dollar store has them. Um, they're just a really good price, apparently, because so far I have been having very good luck. And a bunch of herbs that I have in my windowsill, they are also American seed that I picked up and they're growing fine. They're, I, they, I did great with all the packages, so I'm... For me, that is like a big score, because when you're a gardener, you can just put down some serious money on seeds every year, and this will cut my seed budget probably in half. So, I'm ashamed of myself for not ever getting those seeds. I'm serious, too. I'm ashamed of myself. Um, okay, dollar store. L from over at L is Living is the one that turned me on to this, and it is hard to believe all of the people that are paying you know, upwards of $100 for teeth whitening systems, like I have, like I own, when the dollar store has this little $1 item right here. Um, it is the natural white five minute whitening, and all it comes in a little bag, you get this tube, which is um, 0 .7, 0 0.75 ounces, you get this tube and this little mold that fits in your mouth. It's a little silicone mold. Um, you fill both of these reservoirs right here with this gel. And it's just a clear, it's a clear peroxide gel. Pop it in your mouth for five minutes. This stuff is incredible. Um, my youngest daughter, Jasmine, as you all know, she just went off to college. And she had braces on for, I don't know, she didn't have them on for as long as she was supposed to because she was going to join the military and they wouldn't take her until her braces were off. I didn't think she needed them anyway, but anyway, when they took them off, she had, you know, just the eight months or so that she had them on, her teeth got so yellow and, you know, she's a young girl with, with nice teeth and they're, they're like, you know, the color of a daisy or something. They were just horrible. And I trying to get her into the dentist and she kept missing the freaking appointments so I went and got one of these for her I thought eh, why not well I got it for myself first worked beautifully now with the lupus that I have my teeth even though I've always took immaculate care of them um, I don't really drink coffee I have maybe one or two cups in the morning um, I don't smoke anymore and I've had my teeth professionally whitened since I quit smoking to get you know all the staining away as much as they could and still I struggle with you know, just what the the lupus is doing to my teeth. It's turning them like gray or something. So I really didn't think I was going to see any results with this, but I was shockingly surprised. So I forced Jasmine to do it because she's got a really strong gag reflex. 
So I forced her to do it, and I swear her teeth were half as yellow. I mean, literally by half. Um, a couple days later, she did it again, and they were almost back to normal again. I cannot believe this stuff. You guys, if you have a Dollar Tree or any other dollar store around that sells this product, you have got to go get it. I cannot tell Elle thank you enough. And for in-between touch-ups, again at the Dollar Tree, the Dazzling White Pen. Um, and dry your teeth off, you know, um, paint it on your teeth, and then, you know, until they, um, until it dries onto your teeth, you know, and then go about your business. Um, sometimes I rinse it off, sometimes I don't even think to. If I'm uptown or something, you know, and just had a glass of wine with dinner or something, I don't even think to rinse it off, and it's, you know, it's not problemsome or anything, but beautiful, beautiful products, you guys. If you want your teeth whiter, it's ridiculous. To go spend eighty, ninety, a hundred dollars because I have done it many times, well, several times, and I now feel like a fool because this is fantastic, and I cannot thank you enough, L, for turning me on to this personally because it is gorgeous. Okay, Walmart. I was there the other day, hit the clearance aisle, and they had these Caress body bars, white peach and silky orange blossom. Um, super moisturizing. Now I don't use I don't use bar soap. I don't really know anybody who does. I don't even know why they make it anymore. I think we all use bath wash or you know body wash. Well, once in a while I will wash my brushes with a nice moisturizing bar soap. Usually it's some kind of Dove or something. I'm having a bad hair day, you guys. I went and had my hair color back to its normal color to get the highlights that that broad messed up and she's got it on my skin and it's stained on my scalp if you can see it looks like I got hair plugs yeah I won't be going back to her again my the gal that I that I room with down at my shop that owns the strip mall she was out sick she's been out sick for a couple days so usually I have her do it and she was not in and I couldn't take it anymore so anyways um sorry about my hair plugs <laughs> the caress body bar um, every once in a while I will wash my brushes with a bar soap that has some good emollient in it or some good moisturizer in it. Uh, the soap that I use to wash my, my brushes is uh, Dr. Bronner's and it doesn't have real good moisturization. Um, I have found that after a while my brushes start getting a little bit scratchy but if I take them all and wash them all with these every you know maybe once or maybe once every month or every two months then they get that nice soft um, you know, feather-like feel that they had when I got them back. And so every once in a while, I'll do that. Well, I grabbed this to do that specifically, and this is not, I bought, I ended up getting a couple of them because it is a beautiful, beautiful soap to wash your brushes and your beauty bar, or your uh, beauty blenders with. Leaves your brushes and your blender smelling just faintly like this soap, which is, oh, it's smells so good. It's nice and light and clean and fresh smelling. It's not any kind of perfumey and works excellent, you guys. And I don't even know why everybody buys, go, spends all the money to buy those, you know, the beauty blender tub that washes the bars of soap. And I've got one down at my shop. Bars of soap work just as good. I don't know why people f jump into that whole, um, you know, I need that that special tub that comes for the beauty blenders or whatever. No, you don't. You just need a bar of soap, okay? Just find the right one. I mean, not all, and they're not all the same either. They they do actually work differently. This one is really good. I'm sure you wouldn't have to be the white posh, you know, the white peach and silky orange blossom or anything. Um, but these were what was on sale for 75 cents a bar, so I grabbed it. Usually, I get the Zest Shea Butter Shea and cocoa butter one from um, the Dollar Tree. That's usually what I get and use, and I've been using it for years. Love it. Um, but yeah, but brush brush bar right here, you guys. Mm-hmm. And it moisturizes your brushes, and it leaves a nice scent on them. Very good stuff. Okay. Remember a couple months ago, I reviewed a product called Sudden Change. It was in that little beady bottle, and it was for um, under eye bags and wrinkles and stuff. And it was supposed to be like a serum that you put on just for a, a couple nights, you know. It wasn't any kind of a long-term thing. It didn't do any kind of long-term, you know, damage repair, anything like that. It was strictly for making you look younger for a couple hours out. Well, it absolutely sucked. I did not like it at all. I, I ended up taking it back. 
I ran across this at Walmart the other day, and when I got that, that was at CVS. Um, I had never seen it anywhere but CVS. Well, at Walmart the other day, I noticed they had that sudden change, and they had this mask next to it, and it is the sudden change green tea facial mask. Now, again, this does not claim to have any kind of long-term, you know, visible effects or anything like that, no anti-aging properties, nothing like that. It just says, instantly rejuvenates appearance of dull, tired-looking skin, accelerates visibility of smoother, firmer skin. Now, that doesn't say, you know, that's, that's trick wordery there. All it's telling you is that it, it is going to, basically it's saying that it's going to make you look better. That's it. It doesn't say for any kind of a long term or nothing like that, okay? So, and nowhere on this tube does it say that. What? This tube costs almost $10. So, for three and a half ounces, for a little tube this size of a Walmart mask, that's kind of pricey. Um, the Freeman masks are twice this size and they cost $3.99. So, you know, I was like, well, I'll try it. I'll give it a shot. See how it works. Um, you know, if I don't like it after a couple times, I'm taking it back. You guys, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, and I will re be repurchasing this when it's gone until I figure out how to make it myself because the main ingredient is bentonite, and I have pounds and pounds of bentonite. Um, I make bentonite masks all the time. This is a very odd mask. It looks different. Um, just comes out in a little squeezy tube, normal little squeezy tube. It looks like toothpaste. Um, it's got the consistency of... Uh, I don't know, it, it's, it doesn't look like a, a clay mask coming out of the tube. Um, it almost looks like a gel, like a mint colored gel, but it does dry to a clay. But it's not like regular clay masks. It, it washes off very, very easily. You don't have to... Normally, with clay masks, I will do them right before I get in the shower because they stain my rags, they're hard to come off, they leave flaky mess all over, but this one does not. It comes, it just comes off really super easy, And but bentonite is a different kind of clay. It's very, um, it's got a lot of slip to it, so it's, it's different than any of your other clays. Anyways, you know how you look in the morning when you wake up and your skin looks kind of gray and you've got the bags under your eyes and you know you're tired and sluggish then after a couple cups of coffee and you're waking up a little bit wash your face jump in the shower whatever then you know you look fresh and ready to put your makeup on well that's what this mask did for me I woke up the next day after I used it I used it the night before before I went to bed not overnight just before I went to bed um, I woke up the next morning and I looked like I had been up for a couple hours when I woke up um, I didn't have the bags under my eyes. My skin was nice and even. I kind of was a little bit glowy or something, like I just washed my face. Gorgeous, gorgeous mask. I'm really liking it. And until my mad scientist figures out how to make this myself, because that's what I'm going to be doing, I will repurchase this. Loved it. Okay? All right. Uh, last, when Flower Cosmetics came out, I couldn't stand it. I'm sorry, Flower, I'm sorry, Drew Barrymore, whatever. I could not stand it. I tried a lot of their products, didn't like any of them. Um, I found them to be dry or sticky or flaky or I just didn't like them. I did not try, however, any of their eyeshadows. So if this is the same formula as they had last year, then I will apologize respectfully because I picked up this shadow quad the other day from Flower. It was so pretty, even though I had vowed to never get Flower again, this was so pretty I had to get it. Um, it is the Secret Garden, and I wasn't expecting much, to tell you the truth, because all the Flower products I've tried were just so bad. But this is beautiful, you guys! I'm so happy I got it! And now I must get the other ones! <laughs> Those are the colors. They are beautiful. Super, super smooth, silky, they blend good. Um, I've worn this palette several times, very happy with it. Very, very nice. Ten bucks, pretty good price for four shadows that are, um, how much is in each pan? Um, probably about 1.75 grams, there's six grams in the whole pan, so, um, or in the whole palette. Nice shadows, you guys. Every bit worth ten bucks. I I want to collect the rest now. Also, I have been seeing for a longest time. I've been seeing people talk about these uh, Maybelline Eye Studio quads. Now, these do not have very much product in them. Okay, look at that. 
And I've been seeing people talking about them. When I see them down on the shelf at the store, though, they're $10 a piece. That is pretty dang pricey for this little itty bitty, you know. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to pay for them, huh? you know. Was especially when these ones here are right next to them and they're $3 cheaper and got three times the product. But these ones really suck butt. <laughs> those were in my crapper video, so those really suck. I picked up a couple of these the other day just because I felt if I don't like them, I'll take them back. Love them! You guys, these are so beautiful! I don't know, I think I might be the only person left on the planet that hasn't gotten these. Well, I have them now, and I'll be collecting the other ones because they are gorgeous. They blend so easily. They blend better than some of my high-end shadows. That's how how well they blend. Silky smooth, um, beautiful, just beautiful shadows. I got three of the quads. I got the Legendary Lilac, um, Mad for Mauve, and the Coral Oasis. And I do have the Coral Oasis on my eyes right now. With my, instead of my cut crease, I'm cutting corners. <laughs> and uh, I, the out, outer corner of my eye is the mug uh, Makeup Geek Dirty Martini. So, yeah, really been liking these, and I will be collecting the rest. And I know you guys have probably heard a lot about these, but I'm telling you again, they're really good. And I feel kind of stupid that I had never tried them. Okay, last product. Um, NYX has came out with, and I'm sure you most of you probably know this. NYX has came out with a new BB cream. Uh, I picked up, they're having a sale down at Ulta. Uh, at least, you know what, I take that back. I don't even know. I don't look at drugstore BB creams because I'm stuck on my IT Cosmetics one. So, this might not be new. They might have had this out for a while. I don't know. But, I picked one up the other day. Um, They have the buy one, get one half off for, you know, like until the 8th or something at my Ulta on NYX. And so I picked up a golden, and then I went ahead and picked up the natural, just in case the golden was, there was no testers out. And usually they have testers, but they didn't have any. So um, I can always take it back if I don't like it. Really, really liking this um, BB cream, you guys. I don't know if any of you have tried this. I think it's a very good BB cream. Um, it gave me just the right amount of coverage that I was looking for without looking, um, you know, like I had a ma makeup on. I'm liking this better than any other kind, or any of my other, I'm out of my IT Cosmetics, and I'm trying to hold off until QVC gets that big smoking deal they had in. Um, by the time I got there and ordered it, it was sold out in my color, so... Um, because my husband wouldn't let me order it at the time, and he came home with a gun like the next day or something, and I'm like, well, I'm ordering that kit. <laughs> but by the time I went there, it was sold out. So I am waiting for that to get any more of my um, IT cosmetics because they didn't have it in 10. And anyways, so I tried this out, and I really, really like it. And I would suggest to anybody out there, um, if you are aging a little bit, you know, getting up in your years like I am, um, pick you up a couple of these, you get buy one, get one half off. If you don't like it, you can always take it back, but I'm really, really liking this. Now, I will say $13 for one fluid ounce from drugstore BB cream seems kind of high to me, especially from NYX. You know, I've come to expect NYX to be, um, you know, excellent product with a little bit lower price than you know, like L'Oreal or whatever, but no, this is, this costs the same as the L'Oreal ones in our Ulta, so, mm, but they're good, and really, if you think about it, how long does a product like this last? You know, I spend $12 on, 13 bucks on something, it's going to last me a couple months, so I'm okay with that. You know, I'm done, I'm all done, I ain't got no crappers today, but I will say, I have been trying out also Elf's new BB cream, let me grab that for you to show you. I have been trying this out just since I'm on the pro on the subject of BB creams. I've been trying the new Elf one out that I got in my um, my last Elf haul. You guys, I'm really liking this one too. I don't know if it is my if things are just sitting better on my skin because of this thing that I've been using. Which uh, you can look for a full review on this in just a couple days. Look at that! It's the Elu mask from um, Walmart. It it is a uh, it's light therapy. 
is what it is. Um, phototherapy, that's what it is. It's a phototherapy mask that you can get at Walmart. It only costs $30. And I don't know if it is that little project or that little gadget that is making my skin so much better. I mean, I've noticed a notable difference, but I find that products that would never sit well on my skin are and I'm really excited about it. So well, that is all I got for you guys. Um, I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already. Um, I love you all so much. Thank you to all my subscribers that talk to me and communicate with me. Um, I, you just have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you tomorrow side by side. Bye-bye.